Good morning, YouTube. Babe, what time is it? It is currently 10.54. It is Monday morning and I am home from my first school. I left the house around like 7.30 and on Mondays I typically have like a hour and a half kind of break or two hour break before I go to my second school. And I wanted to take this time to just film a get ready with me and just talk to you guys and have candid conversation. I'm going to hop back in the shower even though I just took one like hours ago. I just find that showers are just very peaceful and I get to just spend some time alone and reflecting and meditating. So self-care, <laughs> I'm gonna go back and shower and then we'll talk. So definitely stay tuned until the end because I'm talking about some very special deals that I wanna share with you guys and a brand that I've been using and loving as well. So stay tuned. I don't know why Zach likes the blinds closed, but I love having sunlight. So I'm just gonna open this. Up. What you doing, baby? Cooking. Oh, you're cooking brekkie? Brekkie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> for your wifey? I suppose. Brekkie for your wifey. You're so sweet, baby. <laughs> hey, guys. So I'm out the shower in my loungewear. I'm about to... I think I'm going to do my edges first and then my makeup and then get dressed. I have been on this wave um, lately and I didn't really have language for it but I have been getting language for it recently so as you guys know like I I work I you know do content creation and on top of that like I have just like other responsibilities at church and not to mention my marriage not to mention my relationship with God not to mention my um social life <laughs> so with all of those things going on it can it can feel like very overwhelming at times and it can and i like for the past like the past couple months i have been just feeling so weary and it just tired and exhausted like no matter how much sleep i got i was just tired and i was honestly just over it like i didn't want to feel that anymore my camera turned off, but I wanted to share what I did. I used a mattifying primer, and then for foundation, I've been using the Too Faced Born This Way brand, and my color is Tiramisu. I don't remember the store that I bought it from, but it lasts me a long time because I, I don't really use a lot of foundation anyways. Sometimes I go without foundation. I typically only wear makeup on date nights, church, or if I'm going somewhere special. So this can last me, like, honestly, close to a year if I'm just being frugal about it but I wanted to talk about like living a soft life I don't know if you guys you know heard about that lately just a life of like no worry a life of just rest luxury softness like I'm talking loungewear I'm talking you know just a glass of, of champagne a cup of tea you know coffee in the morning I'm talking like soft music and just vibes right <laughs> and a life of ease and I'm talking about this because this is something that I've really been um, just trying to relate to because your girl has truly been and honestly been kind of stressing out and I have three pimples on my face too to account for that stress but no longer will I be stressing out I'm trying to hop on this soft life wave and the Bible talks about living under the yoke of Jesus Christ. And the yoke of Jesus Christ is easy and is light. And Jesus has come not only to give us life, but to give us that more abundantly. And God rested on the seventh day. So who am I to deny myself access to rest? And I've been reading this book called The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. I highly, highly recommend because I started reading that book at a point in my life where I felt like, I was just, you know, kind of on the hustle mentality, the hustle wave. And he really talks about how society pressures us to work. And if we're not working, if we're not producing, then really, you know, you know, what, who are we? Like, what are we really doing with our lives? But he challenges that thought from personal experience. And I definitely recommend it. You know, leave me a comment down below if you've read it yourself. But my... My perspective has shifted where I don't, I no longer want to work from a place of 
uh, I'm trying to achieve something. Um, that those are great, but I, I really want my work to come from a place of rest, to come from a place of peace, to come from a place of ease, and to come from a place where I'm more concerned about who I'm becoming more than what I'm creating and what I'm producing. So, listen, living a life, living a soft life doesn't mean that you have to be wealthy. I'm not wealthy, um, but I, there are ways that we can, you know, do that on a budget and do that without breaking the bank. And one of those ways is through this amazing brand that I, you know, started using almost a month ago. And I, Zach and I actually love them and their dossier. Have you guys heard about them? They are uh, an affordable perfume company that actually reproduces high-end classic luxury perfumes at a fraction of the cost. This smells delectable. So with Dossier, you get the same high quality products, the same high quality perfumes without the, you know, extra expenses, without the extra brand tax. And something that I really love about them too is that if you don't like the scent, you can actually within 30 days return it, even if it's unsealed and you can get a full refund, no questions asked. Right now I have like four cents, love them. And I just like kinda, you know, went by reviews on the website and I just wanted to test some things out. One of my favorites though is the one that I got for Zach and that is the Musky Oak Moss, okay? Musky Oak Moss is inspired by Creed's Aventus and it makes me wanna hug my husband all day and just smell him. Dossier has scents inspired by Tom Ford, YSL, Chanel, to just to name a few. And typically these luxury brands can cost upwards of $100 to $350. In comparison, Dossier starts at $19. When Zach tried the musky oak moss, he was surprised at how similar they smelled. And now it's currently his go-to scent without having to spend the money that it costs to actually get Cree Aventus. Dossier has great bulk deals on their website, up to 25% discount and free shipping for three plus bottles. And they're always adding new scents to their collections and even take suggestions from customers for future releases. Dossier has a new payment method that lets you earn store credit. So select catch at the last step of checkout and you earn $10 bonus credit. You get rewarded with 10% store credit on every order. And I also have a discount code, Gabriella Todd 10 for an additional 10% off. But that's not all. Dossier has a welcome offer of up to 20% on the website, so you can get up to 30% off for your first order by using my discount code and the welcome offer. The extra 10% applies at checkout on top of the welcome offer. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have heard of Dossier or planning to try them out. I would love to hear you guys' feedback as well. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask me those. Right now, I'm going in with concealer, just a little bit, because I'm not going anywhere too fancy. I'm just getting ready for the day. And this is, I'm running out of this, but I brought this from MAC. And this is their 24 hour Studio Fix Smooth Wear Concealer. Okay, and this color is NW45. I've had this for a while too, but now I'm running out and I need to go back. Last week, I uploaded a video on grieving uh, the loss of a good friend and friendship breakups. And a lot of you guys resonated with that, which honestly, I'll, I'm kind of happy about. I'm really, I'm not happy that you guys resonate with that, but I'm happy that the video touched you guys because, yeah, like I said in the video, it's something that I was really wrestling with and, you know, seeking God about a lot and counsel about. So I'm glad that it's it's been blessing you. The Lord has really just been giving me and my husband strategy for how to navigate this and especially friendships, like relationships and the people that God wants in your life because not everyone is, is going with you. I know I think somebody commented that um, on that video, like not everyone is going with you. That person that you had in chapter four and chapter five may not be the person that's going with you in chapter six and chapter seven and we have to be okay with that. Sometimes, friendships end because elevation requires separation and especially when you're transitioning from being 
in the world and now you're trying to live a sold out life for Christ, there are friendships that are gonna have to go because bad company corrupts good character. And it's not anything that you have against them, but it's just the reality, you know? And I don't know the exact circumstance where you guys had had to let go of friendships or have lost friendships, but the Lord is able to heal if you're hurting in that area. And he's healed me. Um, it's been a huge wave of emotions at times. Some days have been extremely hard and it feels like impossible to get through, but I know that I can by the grace of God and that he's been keeping me. This eyeshadow palette is LA Colors and I got this, this eyebrow, I mean, I said eyebrow, this eyeshadow brush collection and this eyeshadow palette from Five Below. Listen, all my makeup is probably like from the drugstore, to be honest. Do I want to get into like, you know, more high-end makeup one day? Uh, of course, but right now, I am making it do what it do with what I have. <laughs> and you can too. My One of my friends taught me how to do makeup when I was in college and I still use her techniques to this day. Uh, I need to also make a video with Zach. Um, I feel like I haven't made a video with Zach. And we can just give a kind of like a life update. One of those things that we're looking, we're about to move in like a month or so. And this market is extremely crazy for housing right now. Like it's definitely a seller's market. Um, houses are going like the snap of a finger. And right now we're looking for one. God willing, we'll be able to move into one um, this year. So we're just, you know, trusting God in that process and really just, you know, trusting that he's going to provide the home that we desire and the home that we're going to be able to invest in, in the long run, because it is an investment. A house is an investment because especially who, listen, if I had a house selling it now, you'd be making a profit because people have been offering even above asking price for houses now. And it's like, if you're not offering above asking price, then your chances of getting a house are like, you know, slim because everyone is doing it. So I am looking for my, what do I want to do now? Should I do eyeliner? I'll do a little bit, I guess. I typically just use e.l.f. eyeliner. It's like a dollar or something at CVS. And it's the liquid eyeliner. And I'm just going to go in and just do some something. something something simple I really do have an amazing husband who cares for me who washes me with the, the word water of the word and who loves me for me and there's there's no bigger and better blessing than that <laughs> and I kind of have to remind myself of that sometimes like if, who cares like if people leave I mean I don't say that like yes I do care I do care for the people I love but really it's my husband who comes first and that is what the word says a man a man shall leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife and if people don't understand that then I can't help them and I need to understand that for myself in order to even uphold that for others and like have those boundaries in place oh maybe we can talk about boundaries in, in relationships and marriage that would be great I think I'm gonna do that next with Zach what else have I been up to teaching i honestly like i don't know if i've explained more about my job but let me explain that now since we have a little bit of time um and i guess that'll be the last thing i talk about until next time of course i am looking for my mascara i'm just using i don't know where i got this from probably took it from my mom or something i don't remember but it is the lash idole by lancome and i'm just gonna go in and put some mascara on so, let me show you guys what I do. I'm just look into the camera. There we go. So, I appreciate my job so much more now than I did when I was teaching in public schools. Right now, I teach as a, a Title I teacher and for a private company. And they are the ones that hired me to go into schools that they have that the district, the school district has contracts with. And I go into these schools and I typically teach in small groups. And the purpose of my lessons is to pretty much catch those students up to 
to grade level. So my students are behind grade level in reading or math, sometimes both. And my job is to go in and supplement what they don't know so that they can get ahead or catch up to where they need to be. And I love my job so much more, I appreciate it so much more because of the flexibility. I am not confound to a classroom from 8.30 to 4.05. When I was in public school, I had like a 30 minute break. Um, I had to manage 100, sometimes 100 something students. I was grading multiple assignments per class um, by myself. I didn't have any assistance or anything like that. And I definitely felt it. Or before I resigned from my job, I dreaded going to school. It took a toll on me. It took a toll on Zach because I, because it took a toll on me, it took a toll on Zach as well. And making that faith move to resign has brought me to a much more better place and I thank God for that. So if you are an educator, if you're in education and have been thinking about like just where the state of education is now and you know, wanting to resign because you're burnt out and you're underpaid, I definitely recommend looking into, my company is called Catapult Learning and I am contracted with this company, but I'm placed in private Christian schools. How wild is that? Like I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't have imagined this for myself. Like God really is a way maker and I can't like, he, he knew the desires of my heart and he placed that right on my lap. The pay is great, it's competitive. My supervisor is an advocate for me. I was able to negotiate um, because right now I work a little bit more, not in hours, but in more like, uh, I guess I do, I do a little bit more labor than all my other teachers. So I was able to negotiate for a higher pay and because they just have a standard pay for the teachers, but I was able to negotiate for a higher pay and my supervisor advocated for me and now I'm getting paid more. And and I love that. I love that I, I have that option because in public school, I didn't have that option to negotiate. It was, I wasn't gonna get a raise until like 10 years of teaching. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm gonna have kids one day and I, I, I'm gonna have more bills to pay. So what, what are we really doing here? if not being paid our work. Aside from teaching, I have been continuing with Blessed by the King and my social media manager has been helping me a lot with content side of things and my husband has been helping me a lot with the production side of things and actually printing the shirts and managing orders. I thank God for that help, especially with everything else that I do have going on, um, not getting burnt out in the process, but Blessed by the King, if you don't know, is a Christian apparel company that I started and I hope to talk more about it on my channel and how, what it takes to manage a t-shirt company. Um, if that was something that, if that's something that you guys would be interested in, feel free to let me know as well. That way I, I can kind of gauge you, you guys' interest when it comes to the business and e-commerce. But there are some products that I want to release and there's a new design that I want to release. Um, we recently released our Feel Better collection and you guys can check that out as well. I'll leave that in the description box. Um, this is Blush. And Blush is from e.l.f. Highlighting contour is from probably a drugstore, but I love this. I've had this for years. It is the True Complexion Creme Contour Palette, medium to dark. And they have contour color. They have the sculpting color and they have the illuminate color, which I use for highlighting. I don't really use this one, but I also use this for contour sometimes. Um, so check them out and affordable and at the drugstore. So entrepreneurship is something that I think about a lot because I desire financial freedom and I desire to be one day just being able to have the liberty to stay at home and take care of my children when I have children. So it's something that I think about a lot and I'm Zach and I are just in the beginning stages of building that. Um, did you bring a lip gloss, baby? You know, I love me a good lip gloss. I don't really, well lately I haven't been using lipstick. I do need to go to the store and buy me some more lipstick. If you have any recommendations, let me know. But I love me a good lip gloss and this is just from my 
uh, local beauty supply store, like a dollar. But ain't nothing like a good lip gloss. Uh, and I just put so much, I look so much better already. Voila. I'm not sure how to style my hair. What do the girls think? What do you guys think? Okay, this is just my basic, and this is my everyday look. Honestly, this is kind of like what I do all the time. Pink eyeshadow, lip gloss, foundation, con concealer, contour, highlight, blush, mascara, sometimes some eyeliner, and then I'm out the house. This smells so good, y'all. Mm. Now, I need to put on some clothes and be out the door. But, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We're on the way to 30K. And thank you guys so much for your support, for your encouragement, just for sticking around. And I'm excited for what's to come. I, I'm, I've been getting back into the swing of things on YouTube and I'm excited for that. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Visit the links in my description box. Subscribe to my channel. And feel free to let me know what you guys look forward to in my content, what you guys want me to talk about. But until next time, I love you guys and peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.